Welcome to the Starvation for Innovation YouTube channel. Today is our, going to be our first video ever on YouTube and today I really just want to explain what the channel is and the company itself, where it's at, where I want it to be, and just kind of give you guys the lowdown on everything. So the company is actually in its very early stages, very early stages, and I thought it would be a really cool idea to start showing you guys what it's like to be building a company and like this company is literally going to be built before your eyes in front of you so you guys can come along for the experience uh, for the fun we should have some good times we i am a programmer so you guys will see code you guys can learn how to code uh, share your ideas let me know what you guys think um, but the company as a whole we do have a couple clients um, on hold right now but we do um we really want to strive to bring innovation uh, to the workforce and products to customers, satisfy customers. So basically what we do is we make websites or mobile applications for customers depending on what they need and what they want uh, as far as their, their company goes. So if a company needs a mobile application, we'll make them an Android app or an iOS app for Apple or we'll do both or we'll even make them a website uh, if they need it. And as far as building those products, you guys will actually see that on this channel is uh, as long as it's the legal uh, legal restrictions are met, um, you guys will see um, us use most most of the time when we build a website, we'll do it from scratch. So we'll use um, editors like brackets, which is basically just a notepad plus plus and other things like that. Um, but if we make a mobile application, we will often use Android Studio for Android and Xcode for Apple. And we've actually come across React Native recently, which is actually made by Facebook, which is super cool. It's a tough framework. Um, I really wouldn't call it a language necessarily. It's more of a framework. It's pretty tough to understand. It's got a steep learning curve, but it actually allows for you to build um, an Android app or iPhone app and then have them compatible so you just have to make one app instead of making both you just make one and at the end it splits off into an Android and it splits off into a an uh, iOS app which is actually super cool but um, as far as the company uh, goes again like I was talking about um, we're gonna be here very recently we're gonna actually build the company website like I said this is all from scratch you guys will see it firsthand as we are unfolding this company it should be a really cool experience for both you and i um, really excited to start but we do have two clients on hold we are trying to get our website built and hosted currently uh, before we start uh, any more big projects now as far as my past i am a developer looking to bring inspiration to the workforce for my team and i look to basically bring innovative technology to uh, companies and just the industry itself. And I really look to better the norms of a software programmer. And I don't mean that in a bad way. I just mean to go above and beyond um, what a normal software programmer does on their daily basis and what they can provide. Um, I really look up to people like Bill Gates and Steve Jobs who really went against the norms and ended up creating what they created. So that's really cool and shout out goes to them. Um, so today, um, basically we're just going to kind of start the basis of our uh, website. As you guys can see here, I already started just the structure of this website in HTML. Now, you guys can see here up at the top left, I did index.html. I don't actually look to do uh, PHP at all today or in the future for our own website just because um, we'll probably end up using Google's Firebase database as long as all the, uh, as all the legal rights um, check, off, check out. But um, PHP is not my favorite language and I tend to try and stay away from that. So Google Firebase database is actually great for that. So that being said, I'll walk you through this wicked basic structure of our uh, HTML Fire Aid. So basically this is the CSS file we will be using. It, you guys can see there's literally nothing in it yet. Uh, you guys will see that firsthand of what is going in there. We just have the header, which involves just the nav bar 
and the body of our website, which is literally just a blank body right now. You guys can see the comment right there. So if I actually bring up the website, you guys can see that there is literally pretty much nothing. If I click on either of these, they're just going to error because there's nothing there. So that should be cool. If you guys didn't already know, or if you guys are trying to get into web dev development, go to w3schools.com. They have a really cool HTML site, CSS site, and even JavaScript site. So I highly recommend. We often tend to kind of use W3Schools as a base structure of what we want, and then we kind of take stuff from there and really manipulate it. So at the end of the day, it's nothing like what it started, but it's a good spot. That way you don't have to kind of retype stuff that people already retype. So it's really cool not a nice place to start but um, for now we're gonna actually build this website and get this company rolling starting now oh as well we um, next video I plan on creating some goals for the company and both the channel as well because I plan to make a 30-day plan for the company and the channel I may plan to make a 60-day for both as well as a six month a one year and let's go with a three year but that will be next video so stay tuned for that um if you guys like i said um have anything to say please let me know in the comments i'd love to hear what you guys say um the funding of this company you guys will see as well firsthand we really aren't sure exactly where it's going to come from but it shouldn't be the biggest ordeal um, I actually watched something earlier today from Bill Gross as he made has created a lot of companies and seen a lot uh, fail and he said timing was actually the greatest common denominator between f successful uh, startup companies and then comes the idea and then comes the team and the marketing and finance so I'm not really too worried about the finance right now as far as the com where the company stands because um, there's not much in it right now other than work but no money so let's go here and we'll actually start our CSS file for this now if you guys um, let me know if you guys use bootstrap at all bootstrap is a framework for HTML and CSS more CSS but um, I don't actually intend to use it here but we might end up changing a little bit uh, we'll have to see as far as CSS let's just go ahead and get our nav bar set in there real quick that way we can start editing from there I'm not really sure how I want this nav bar to be set up to be completely honest but I guess we'll figure it out as the time goes on I'm really looking to bring you guys raw footage of really bringing this company to life um, and your love and support is definitely uh, helped. If you guys at all want to see this company build, I think it's a new, really cool idea. Um, be sure to leave a like, leave a comment, subscribe.